Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Financial Lance. Thanks to all of my subscribers and those who have been liking and sharing my videos. 2022 has been a rough year for the stock market and the global economy. Global economic activity has experienced a broad base slowdown and with higher inflation than seen in several decades. The cost of living crisis tightening financial conditions in most regions, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the lingering effects of COVID-19 pandemic. These all weighed heavily on my outlook. Nearly every central bank significantly hiked interest rates this year, leading to higher cost of borrowing and servicing of loans with variable interest rates. It's been a brutal year for the cryptocurrency market. The overall crypto market has lost over two trillion dollars. Bitcoin, the leading coin, has lost over sixty percent of its value, while others has lost up to one hundred percent. Ask Luna and Terra. Cryptocurrency trading platforms are suffering from a drop in the volume of business. Several huge cryptocurrency firms have filed for bankruptcy, namely FTX, BlockFi, Voyager Digital, and Tree Aura Capital, etc. Another thing that's plaguing the cryptocurrency market is there's a lot of scammers, and some are social media influencers. With a lack of trust in the cryptocurrency market, a lot of persons are calling for more regulation. The stock market, on the other hand, had its fair share of downfall and turbulence. The S&P 500 has fallen nearly 20% and the Dow Jones around 8% alongside most stock exchanges around the world and many indices. The Jamaica Stock Exchange market was down. 14%. That's the main market. And the junior market is up 17%. And I must say, for the junior market, several new IPOs may have contributed towards this. The other market and indices of the Jamaica Stock Exchange also traded firm, but the main market has fallen. While I don't know what the future have in store for sure, I think economies around the world will decline further leading to deepening of a recession. Business activities will slow down, trust me. The effects of the ongoing Ukraine-Russia war will continue to be felt. Surging COVID cases in China will affect the supply chain of many businesses and slow down global activities. In terms of where the stock market will be going in 2023, I cannot tell you the future for sure, as said previously, but based on the market cycle that I'm seeing, it seems we are currently in the markdown phase of the cycle, and this might last a while until we reach the accumulation. And at this point in time, it's a good time to look for opportunities. In fact, a lot of stocks will be on discount for long-term investors. It might just be the time to go shopping and find great value stocks. For the short term, it could mean wise tactical allocation. These are the times most wealth is built in time of disaster and turbulence. Please subscribe for my next videos as I look into the stock market. I will share my top 5 stocks that I am watching to buy in 2023 for the Jamaican market and the US market. Please like and share. Have a good day.